Good night, Double Dippers. We are here at Magic Kingdom. It is 10-11. 10 here at the Magic Kingdom. Park closes in 50 minutes, 49 to be exact. Um, and we are here to have some fun. I got off of work. Autumn was like, let's go. And I was like, sure. We're gonna spend 45 minutes in the Magic Kingdom. Sounds great. That's what we're doing. We're here. Everybody else is leaving. See what we do. So we don't do. Great times. A ride we do not frequent often. I have not ridden this in a great number of years. But Anna selected it tonight because she said, and I quote, you have to see how Kona tries to spin the wheel. So that is what we're doing. That's a terrifying sound. But this is what we're doing. You ready, Bubba? Oh, there you go. Kind of. How was it, Bubba? Mommy and Daddy are going to be running, walking in like a circle for a while. We came over here by Barnstormer to see if Kona was tall enough. He was quite shy of Barnstormer, which we kind of figured. It's only 35 inches, though, and he's tall enough for uh, Tomorrowland Speedway, which was 32, so we thought he wouldn't be that far off, but it looked like a pretty good distance. Also, you can't really see it now because of where we're at, but uh, you can definitely see Tron back there, and it looks awesome. Now, I know that the rumored date for it is October of this year. Don't know. It could be plausible. Um, that is the start of their uh, uh, financial year, or fiscal year. I don't know. I don't know terms, um, but there's a good possibility. It looks like it's coming along, so... We'll see. All right, next ride of the night. Ariel's Undersea Adventure, whatever the heck this is called. It's The Little Mermaid. One thing I've noticed the past couple of times we've ridden this is that Scuttle is missing from the queue, which makes it very creepy for kids. I've had several, heard several kids like very creeped out about this ride. We had a little girl that was about uh, five years old. It's like right here. Walking and just terrified. I was like, no, no, like, it's okay. Like, I know it's a scary cue. It seems like it's building up to something. Yeah. Yeah, without the addition of Scuttle, it is a pretty uh, scary looking cue. But we're getting on now. We're at the walk on, of course. Uh, I think that's going to be our challenge to see how many rides we can get in in this 45 minutes that we're here. Yeah. All the shells are empty. One thing Anna pointed out. That's only something a, a local could recognize is they changed the color of the handlebar from like a, it was, I think it was supposed to be like a rusty like color. Now it's purple. Anna has selected tonight to be our super dizzy night. So our next ride is the carousel. I won't say carousel, progress. It's just a carousel. It's a uh, something royal carousel or something other. You know what it's called. Are you excited, Bubba? What is it, Bubba? What is it? Alright, you gotta pick one. This one? Daddy will take this one then. <laughs> Daddy, look how happy he is. I don't know. Why 
was a uh oh. Bibbidi Bobbidi now has a rope out in front of it. Making progress, people. Ride number four tonight, Peter Pan's flight. It is, wait, focus, 10.52, we're in line, we're in this first room. There's a bit of a wait, but I also don't know if people are just getting distracted by the queue. Because that kind of seems like a possibility, because it kind of seems like we're kind of stagnatingly moving. That makes sense. The uh, retro style tumbler cup is here. Um, they haven't been here in a while. Doesn't say how much they are, but it's got Big L on it, so it's it's worth that much more. It's also got Tron on it. Very strange. I have not seen these kind before. It's the uh, how would you describe these? The throwback collection. I mean, it's the vault collection, but like, what's the style cup? A clear, I don't know, a clear cup. That, that kind. But they, they have these. I haven't seen these before. These are only $25. That is not bad at all. All right, so my uh, camera died right as I was taking a sip of the uh, new... Uh, pineapple? Pineapple... Mango guava. Mango? I just saw a passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit. Gua uh, uh, mango. Lemonade refresher. Yeah. Um, it's because I, I chose lemonade as my base because that's what I usually go with. It's uh, a lot of sugar. I it's think that very heavy. Out would be better. Yeah, I might have to try that. But also, I don't like things to taste watered down. And I don't like. What is it, Bubba? What's no, honey? No. No. He said no. no. Um, but we're heading out of Magic Kingdom. Um, overall, I, I, I think it's a little much. And also, probably shouldn't have you high, having high sugar drinks as you're going in the parks. Um, but I don't need to tell you that. The day, it's really heavy on your stomach, but it's really nice to leave with it and have it for the next day when you wake up in the morning, or to start your day with it and sip on it throughout the day, but not chug it. If you chug these refreshers, it, it, it's, it's really heavy on your stomach. And Kona said no. Kona does not want us to talk to her. All right, Double Dippers, we are here at the Magic Kingdom for a very different evening. It's not its not an ear destiny evening for us, but it is for our fellow cast. As you remember, we did go to the ear desert evening, um, but you're only allowed one per cast member for the whole deal. So they're going on all summer. So right now, there's a whole lot of people in the park, which means it's actually busier than it would be on a normal night in the last couple hours. Because you remember, the other night we went for an hour and rode four things. And right now, we've been here for about 30 minutes and been on nothing because it is just absolutely slammed. And that's just the nature of after hour events is that turnover between the two is just, it's a, a very stressful time. Um, that's why they kind of have you, want you to come in before the air event starts. Um, but we are going to hopefully go into the Country Bears because Anna, because uh, Kona has not been uh, in a while. Okay, we are gonna go in Frontierland Mercantile, or Frontier Mercantile, um, while we wait. They have a whole slew of new annual pass holder phone cases. I really like this one. It's got the monorail on it, and the standard, like, red with the new Mickey Mouse logo. Um, these are annual pass holder, um, AirPod cases of different shapes and varieties. I guess they've finally given up on the, uh, waiting for the new um, Magic Bands, Magic Band Plus, because they brought these back, and these have not been in stock for a little while now. Also have this one, and this is a new pass holder for um, the 20th anniversary of Journey to Imagination. There's another variety that's not annual pass holder exclusive that I actually like better, but I don't see it here. Also, maybe this was for 626 day, which I believe is yesterday, as of the time of recording this. 
Um, and the balloon bag collection. Did you find a bear hat, Bubba? Look, like, how much is you. it? Like, um, Probably too much. It's $30. Oh, yeah, $30. Here. Nice sweaty thing to put on your head in the summer. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. You got a bear on your head? A bear. A bear. Yeah. A bear. Look at that bear. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go see your bears in just a minute, okay, Bubba? He gets very upset when we take him over to towards his bears and he doesn't get to see them, so he's very upset right now. Where at? Where's the bears at? Where's Where are the bears, bears at? at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Are they in that? Trying to uh, do that the long way around because you can't cut through the middle during the show. But Cold on Enjoyed Country Bears, as you saw, it always does. So we're getting on the carousel because this is a new one of Colin's favorites here. But a very interesting thing just happened. They had the fireworks crew come through and check the entire ride to make sure there was no firework debris or unexploded fireworks or whatever. Yeah. So. Now they just let us on. <laughs> Where'd you go? It's uh, a little bit insane in Tomorrowland right now. Uh, but I just wanted to get Kona, Kona's applause that he gives us every time we get onto one of his favorite rides. But we will wait for that moment. I'm not gonna stop recording. Do you see, I think he's pointing to Buzz because we're getting on Buzz. See that Buzz like you're on you? It's gonna be our last ride for the evening, folks. Attraction number two? Three? What we ride first? We did Country Bears. And? And we did Carousel. Oh, we did Carousel. Yeah, I forgot. Are you gonna clap for me? There you go. Yay! He's like, I thought I recognized it, but I wasn't quite sure. You excited? 
You're always our pilot. I hope you do a good job today. No pressure. That was a close one, but I got it. Just in the nick of time. I'm not Anna, Anna did pretty good. It's not quite as good. Also, we know that there's apparently one in this room, but it only works some of the time I've heard. I've got, I think I got it last time actually. Okay. <laughs> so it is past 10 o'clock. They do have Goofy and Pluto over here with their 50th anniversary outfits on for a meet and greet for cast members, as well as Daisy and Donald over here meeting and greeting cast members for the iridescent evening. We didn't get to either of these photo ops, and currently um, they're still limiting it to one iridescent evening per cast member. So I'm not sure if we'll ever get to come back. Um, and if we do, we might pick a different park. So um, just keep that in mind um, for you cast members that uh, want to come to your iridescent evening. There's lots of photo ops that are very unique. And um, I don't believe you can meet these characters in their iridescent costumes anywhere else. So just keep that in mind and uh, let them know where you're... There's very long lines for these, which I don't believe there was for our iridescent evening. Um, but just know where your priorities lie, whether it be um, riding rides with little to no weight as we did, or going and taking pictures. So entirely up to you, just keep in mind. Um, we are now heading out to Magic Kingdom, and uh, I'm not going to close the vlog out yet because I always end up saying like 50 things after I try to do it before we actually leave the park. So usually everything on Main Street is open an hour after park close, but because of the iridescent evening, everything is closed to regular day guests. Um, even certain things are closed, period, um, including the, the uh, dress shop over there. Um, but the Emporium stays open for the event, but you do have to, at this point, after park close, be a iridescent evening cast member in order to get in, or their guest. One thing I was going to go in the vault collection to show you guys, uh, when we were here the other night when my camera died, we walked in there and they do have a new 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea shirt. So if you do want to see that, um, I'll have Ian put the picture in here. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure it was $37 for the shirt. Um, so a little pricey, but that's about the regular price. I think that's how much I paid for this. I got this one, we got 40% off though. Also, I did get Galactic Hero sticker. So. Anyway, we're heading out of the park. It's a little crazy, so we'll see you in just a little bit. So this ocean of people is just for the ferry boat. So Honor and I have made the executive decision that we're not going to leave quite yet. We, I mean, we do have to leave the park because we already left and we can't get back in unless we're an iridescent evening cast member. But we're not going to deal with this ocean of people just to get on a ferry boat. We're going to head over to the Contemporary and probably hop on the monorail from there. Um, but that is our current plan because it's a little calmer. I mean, it's already cleared out over here. All right, it's much later now. It is 10.46. We waited in the lobby. We ate our leftover dinner from earlier. Kona watched his Mickey Mouse on the show, on the screen down there, and now we're heading up to the monorail for hopefully a shorter line, which is looking pretty reasonable. Um, but yeah, that's definitely the way to go. Definitely had a much calmer night than trying to squeeze on the ferry boat or monorail earlier. So, we'll see you uh, back at the house. Very Double Dippers, another quiet outro. Kona crashed super hard after the contemporary. We had a great night. Hope you enjoyed watching it. We enjoyed making it. Hope you'll enjoy us in the next video. If you would, like and subscribe. And now, most of all, have a nice day.